Hi everyone and welcome or welcome back to my channel. I'm very happy to have you here guys. Today I want to show you the fragrances that I have been using the most in the month of April. These are fragrances that whenever I reach for a fragrance most likely I reach for one of these fragrances and I also want to include a small project pen in a sense. I mean I have two fragrances and I don't have a lot of left in both of the fragrances and I was thinking to include them in like a project pen even though I don't usually like rationalize my fragrance choices that much but these are fragrances that I have reached for a lot at the moment so I was like why not since I don't have a lot of it left let me just use them up completely uh, so yes these are fragrances that a lot of them not really all because I have some new ones here but the majority of them you've heard me mention in a lot of videos because these are fragrances that I love and usually I tend to wear the same fragrances like once I have a soft spot for a fragrance once my heart craves that fragrance I tend to wear it again and again and again and again and again and again I do not get bored of the fragrances that I love so without further ado let's begin of course, I would love to know what are your most used fragrances in the month of April, what fragrances have sparked your interest, perhaps you have some new fragrances that you have fallen in love with them, I would love to know. So if you don't mind, please share your fragrance choices in the comment section. So let's start you guys. And let's start with the two fragrances that not only that I have been wearing them a lot, but I want to include them in like a project pen. So the first fragrance that I want to show you that I have worn a lot and also I want to use it it up completely is a fragrance called Mojo from Twins Paris. This fragrance you can find it on Dubai collection and the reason why I want to use it up completely let me show you. As you can see I do not have a lot of the fragrance left. One thing about me since I work from home I have this habit when I'm working to take out from my fragrance collection like five to ten fragrances to put them on my desk and to just smell them throughout the day you know because I love I don't know about you but I love to go to my fragrance collection and just like randomly smell fragrances because it really calms me it really calms my mind it calms it calms my energy it makes me feel very good especially when I have fragrances that I love so much you know it makes me remember all kind of special memories so yes now the thing is I took this fragrance out from my fragrance collection and I left it on my desk for multiple I wanted to say that I took it out multiple times and since the bottle is transparent and since it had some sun exposure and also since I've used it so much I really do not want the situation that happened with Tresor La Nuit to happen again I had my bottle of Tresor La Nuit and since I didn't have a lot of it left I let it out to stay in daylight, in sunlight, because I was thinking that I will use it up completely by that time, you know. And guess what? The fragrance turned bad. So because I don't want the same situation to happen, I want to use this fragrance up completely. Now, how this fragrance smells like? This is an inspiration, you guys, to a fragrance that I have included into this video as well. The fragrance is called Mula Mula from Byron. And in case you haven't tried this fragrance or Mula Mula or any other fragrances uh, in this scent genre, let's say, this is all about a beautiful, sweet, rich, artificial, fake smelling strawberry that I love, covered in something that feels like a rich caramelized accord, uh, with a slight hint of pink pepper, especially here I don't detect that pink pepper in Mula Mula, and with a um, slight dry woodsy base in the background. The fragrance feels very uplifting, very feminine, very girly, very playful. It's, for me at least, this was my grab and go fragrance, like I know for sure, doesn't matter how many sprays I do of this fragrance, no one ever complained. I received amazing compliments when I was wearing this fragrance. Because it's so small, it actually fits perfectly in my purse. So I had occasions where, for instance, I was going out with my girlfriend, I applied Mula Mula or I applied Zenobia. And then instead of carrying decants of those fragrances to top up my fragrance throughout the night, I just put this fragrance in my purse very sleek very small bottle this is a 50 ml and it got the job done and you guys i received so many compliments on this fragrance but i see why i see why it's a very easy to enjoy scent dna now yes i love this fragrance you guys and for sure i will uh, want to have it again in my collection after i will use this one up this was sent to me by dubai collection Basically, every few months, they give me a budget to choose fragrances that I would like to test from their website. And I decided to, after I've tried Mula Mula, and I saw how much I love 
this DNA, I decided to get this one and let's just say it didn't disappoint at all. Now, something that I want to mention, most likely you will see a theme with all the fragrances or maybe let's just say not with all the fragrances but with the majority of the fragrances in today's video you will see a theme and the theme is strawberry i love the smell of strawberry i don't know what has happened you guys at the moment i am obsessed with the smell of strawberry uh yeah a lot of the fragrances that i want to show you today are made around strawberry in one way or another and i am loving them especially now as the temperatures are starting to get more and more warm outside i feel like strawberry especially if it's a strawberry fragrance done right strawberry paired with caramel strawberry paired with oak moss you guys it, i have a soft spot for this kind of fragrances and they never disappoint when i want something that's like an easy rich kind of fragrance for me that smells feminine but it's not like your plain and too simplistic fragrance let's just say even though you wear whatever makes you happy uh, but i like fragrances that even my easy rich fragrances i still like them to have i don't know to have an oomph to them you know i don't want fragrances or i do not enjoy fragrances that don't have something special about them to me uh, so you will see strawberry forward fragrances a lot mentioned in today's video but let's move to the next fragrance in the project pen and this fragrance same story with this fragrance um this fragrance is called red velvet this is from maison asrar and let me show you how little i have of this one left now bear in mind this is a 100 ml bottle and same story just like with mojo i love how this fragrance smells like i wear it a lot on its own i wear it layered i wear this one layered with yara I love that combo you guys i wear this one layered with arabian stone cap i don't have words to tell you how good they smell like together like it ah, just try it try it and you'll see try it and you'll see i can guarantee you this um and since i love this fragrance so much and i wore it so much and i have a lot of memories associated with this fragrance i leave it a lot on my desk you know like when i'm working i'm just like smelling the fragrance i'm spraying it on paper not like i don't know already how this fragrance smells like with my eyes closed like when it comes to the fragrances that i love you guys i could describe them like without even smelling them with my eyes closed you know this is how well i know how they smell how they develop everything about them now again this fragrance i received it from dubai collection i'm not really sure when somewhere last year in 2023 this i know for sure yeah but i don't know exactly since i've had this fragrance in my collection perhaps a year let's say at best a year perhaps not even a year uh but because i wore it so much and i don't have a lot of it left and because i let it out a lot i don't want this fragrance to go bad if i love a fragrance i want to use it up i don't want it to just like throw it away because it smells bad because in that case i could have just gave it away to someone who would enjoy it more you know I don't want to waste fragrances, especially since I don't feel like I have such a huge collection of fragrances. Nor is my plan to have a huge collection of fragrances, honestly. Uh, my plan is to have a very medium-sized curated collection. I, don't, I cannot say small, because I feel like small means like what? Like five to six fragrances. I cannot choose just like five to six fragrances. But let's just say I would like ideally to have around 30 fragrances that I am obsessed with, with each and every one of them so yeah these are the first two fragrances that i wanted to show you i love these fragrances you guys i've worn them so 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 much yeah i think it shows it shows i love them in case you wanted oh by the way this is an inspiration to burberry her from burberry so if you have a taste for those uh, kind of fragrances get this one i don't think you will be disappointed you also if you have yara in your collection layer the two you will smell again you guys i do not have words to tell you how amazing you will smell if you layer those fragrances so let me put these ones aside and then let's continue with the other fragrances the next fragrance that i have worn a lot lately look something that i want to say the packaging of this fragrance oh my god horrible you guys not only that it looks cheap it feels cheap but it sounds cheap let, let me just show you so this is yara by latafa by the way this is the next fragrance but just here do you hear that zingy noise in the background when you close the cap like like that slight vibrating noise like it, you shouldn't have this in a fragrance but yeah this is Yara by Latafa it's a cult favorite by now I feel like everyone and their mothers have heard about this fragrance or at least about the Yara collection because you have two or no three fragrances you have this one you have a white one and a yellow one 
and you have another one no i think you have three fragrances this is the only one that i've tried from that collection now look this fragrance in case you haven't smelled it this smells like strawberry cake frosting it's extremely creamy almost a little bit buttery very warm very sweet but the strawberry accord here doesn't smell like you just picked up strawberries from your garden that like fresh clean crisp strawberry like smell it smells like a strawberry like an artificial flavor of strawberry that you have in like ice creams and everything in cakes you know like cakes cake frosting and things like this but i've learned about myself that i adore you guys i adore the smell of this gorgeous delicious fake artificial strawberry in fragrances especially if i layer this one with other fragrances 10 out of 10 honestly now look this one as a standalone fragrance for my taste it's a bit too simplistic it's a bit too boring in a sense i want a little bit more out of my fragrances you know but to me the beauty of this fragrance is when you apply it as a topper with other fragrances and that's when it smells amazing you guys it smells amazing if you have yara in your collection and you're like yeah okay but it doesn't really give what it's supposed to give try to layer this fragrance do like i don't know let's just say you have um you have Burberry Her, for instance, you would like to amplify that strawberry, layer it with Yara. Basically, any fragrance uh, where you would like to amplify the strawberry, Yara is the girl for uh, that situation. Also, if you want to layer it with uh, Arabian Stonka, match made in heaven. Baccarat Rouge, any inspirations of Baccarat Rouge, match made in heaven. If you want to layer this one with other creamy, lactonic like fragrances, match made in heaven. If you have any caramelized fruity forward fragrances and you would like to add a creamy strawberry facet, layer it with Yara, it gets the job done. It smells amazing, it smells amazing. But yeah, again, let me just, do you hear that noise like a fragrance should not sound like this you guys the packaging feels so cheap unfortunately but at the end of the day the fragrance gets the job done it smells amazing i have no complaints last day besides the packaging the next two fragrances that i want to highlight look if you're based in romania i want to highlight the brand as well if you're based outside of romania i do not think you can get a hold or access i don't think you can have access to these fragrances uh, but i want to highlight more what they are inspired by than the actual brand even though if you're based in romania definitely check them out if you have them at your local mall basically these two fragrances are from a brand called haifa and these are the kind of fragrances that you can find them at like your local mall kiosk something like this, like a small store, you know, in your local mall, uh, and they have inspirations of various fragrances. Now look, from my understanding, the owner is from the Middle East and he brings the oils from the Middle East, but he creates the fragrances here in Romania. Uh, yeah, this is what I was told, I cannot, I'm not really sure, but this is what I was told. Now, how I discovered this brand, someone who's watching my videos, hi by the way in case you're watching um he told me a lot of good things about this brand and one time when i was with my best friend at our local mall i remembered and i went to smell some of their fragrances and they had a promo going on i feel like it was for mother's day and you could purchase three fragrances for the price of two or something like this so i decided to purchase their inspiration of la belle from jean paul gaultier look i have to check the code because i'm not really sure I took the sticker off because I didn't like how it looked, but this fragrance, look, to me smells very similar to Labelle. The only thing that I have to say is in the opening, it does feel a slight, you do get a slight sharpness. And let's just say it's not the smoothest of blends in a way, but if you let it sit for 15 minutes, it smells just like Labelle. It smells like this gorgeous caramelized pear that feels very warm very sweet very dense and with a slight suede like accord in the background the suede accord here i think like something slightly dry woody suede like airy type of accord in the background it smells so beautiful again this was one of my grab and goes fragrances i still love it i still wore it i, I still wore it i still wear it a lot i even have a decant of this fragrance in my purse because usually when i'm going out back in the day especially when i was hold on because i have this hair strand here that just doesn't want to sit right uh when i was in uni i used to have this like huge purse where i would carry like my laptop my agenda a lot of things uh, but now 
I cannot, you guys. I cannot stress going out with a huge purse, with a heavy purse. I like to carry a small purse and a lot of fragrances do not fit in my small purse. So now I started to make decants of certain fragrances and I just put like one or two decants in my purse and when I feel like it, I just like reapply the fragrance throughout the day. Yeah, that is their take on the DNA of La Belle. I love it. So I want to emphasize the DNA of La Belle or I want not to emphasize gosh i want to highlight the dna of la belle love it love it and again if you're based in romania go and smell their fragrances um but again test them on your skin and give them time don't judge it uh solely slowly based on the opening because the opening is a slight is a tad sharp and a little bit harsh to the nose but again they are such affordable fragrances now the other fragrance that i want to highlight the other dna this is their take on the DNA of Hypnotic Poison from Dior. Now, I received, um, I feel like last year, I received from someone who's watching my videos. Again, hi, in case you're watching. I received uh, some decants uh, from her and she included the decant of uh, Hypnotic Poison from Dior. I think it was the EDP, Eau de Parfum. It wasn't the Eau de Toilette. Uh, but you guys... I knew how that fragrance smelled like. I had women in my circle who wore it. But there's something, when I applied that fragrance on my skin, it smelled so feminine, so warm and sensual, but in such a cozy way. And I was hooked on that fragrance. But then I looked at the prices of Dior fragrances at the moment and I was like, okay, let me find an inspiration of it at least. And I found an inspiration again and at the brand called Haifa, but you can find inspirations of this fragrance. Again, try your local malls, you know, like your local kiosk, um, fragrance stores, and you might find. Now, this fragrance, I love it. I love it. One thing I have to say, I feel like it's not as strong, but I don't even mind it because I do around 15 to 20 sprays sometimes. I apply it in my hair, on my clothes, on my skin, everywhere. And to me, it smells chic, timeless, sensual and feminine, but in a very cozy way. Leger smells like a very warm, nutty, almost a little bit creamy almondy facet with vanilla. It feels sweet, a little bit nutty, very very round, very full, very warm. But to me, this is a timeless beauty. This is how I feel about this fragrance and about this DNA in general, not just about this fragrance. The, this DNA is like a classic. It's a timeless DNA by now. I don't know why it took me so long to fall in love with it, honestly. Uh, but now that I have this one, I reach for it so much, especially when, let's just say I'm in a hurry, I don't know what fragrance to apply. I usually reach for this fragrance. To me, this is quite a simplistic fragrance. I don't feel like it reinvents the wheel. I don't feel like it goes into the crazy, artistic, creative, abstract territory. It's a very easy... It's a very easy to wear fragrance and you can layer... Let's just say maybe I'm wearing this one in the morning and by midday or let's just say I'm going out at night time and I would like to apply another fragrance. Uh, I could easily apply other fragrances layered on top of this fragrance because it layers extremely well with other fragrances. And even now when I'm looking at the fragrances, I can see a common theme. Either strawberry in various mixes, either cam <laughs> caramelized fruity accords. It's my soft spot at the moment. What can I say? I love to wear them. I love to wear them on as a standalone fragrance. I love to layer them. Now, this next fragrance, I'm not really sure if by the time you will see this video, I have a review up for it. I'm not really sure how I will schedule my videos yet. Uh, but in case I haven't posted the review yet, just so you know, I have a review for Teriyak by Latafa coming up. Yeah, I love this fragrance, you guys. I love this fragrance. It's They created such a beautiful fragrance with this one. Again, if you love the kind of fragrances that I've showed you so far, you will enjoy this fragrance for sure, you guys, for sure. This to me, by the way, the opening, not the smoothest one, not my favorite part. It feels a little bit flat and it feels a little bit affordable. But if you let this fragrance sit on your skin, five minutes maximum, it's what you need to give it. 10 minutes, if anything the way this fragrance evolves and the way this fragrance smells like on your skin. I am obsessed with this fragrance. I have this fragrance in my collection for a little bit over two weeks. This is how much I wear it. And keep in mind, it's not the only fragrance that I have been wearing lately. But this, you know what it smells like, you guys. Again, 
mm, don't take the opening into account. I'm describing you now how it smells uh, once you get a chance to settle on your skin. But once this fragrance gets a chance to settle on your skin, it legit smells like you baked pears with apricots and you cover them, you coated them with caramel and syrupy honey. You take them out of the oven, you let them to cool off, to cool down a little bit, and then you lean in to smell them. This is how it smells. It smells warm, it smells round, it smells very sweet, very dense, very full-bodied and very rich. Caramelized fruits. This is how it smells like to me. The fruity accord here legit feels like it's baked because it feels not only that it feels very warm, but it doesn't have that fresh, bright, eerie sweetness of pear, let's say, or that crisp, eerie sweetness of apricots. It has a more cozy, warm, warming up type of sweetness that uh, these two fruity accords exude to my nose and i love the smell you also detect slight nutty facets of course a little bit of vanilla in the background you know to make the fragrance feel very round the fragrance but to me the overall fragrance this is what shines the most to my nose that caramelized honeyed pear apricot accord and it done so well you guys with a slight suede facet in the background the suede in the opening is a little bit more dominant but as the fragrance develops it moves it moves backwards it moves in the background and it smells so beautiful again if you have a taste for mula mula for zenobia for yara by latafa for scandal for label either label simple simple or label le parfum if you have a taste for this kind of fragrances test teriyak i do not think you will be disappointed la tafa really outdid themselves with this fragrance yeah safe to say i am obsessed with this fragrance i'm looking to buy a backup of the fragrance because i can see myself wearing this fragrance so much during the summer like summer date summer night summer date no in summer during the daytime in summer during the nighttime this will be my grab and go fragrance for sure because it smells again very feminine very warm very playful it's nothing very serious but it doesn't smell juvenile either to me it's a perfect balance it feels extremely harmonious and balanced once it gets a chance to settle on your skin and i only have good words to say about this fragrance so let's move on to the next fragrance and guess what this is again another strawberry forward fragrance i know i know i know the fragrances that i showed you in today's video they are all let's just say in the in a big scent family like they could all be somewhat of cousins with each other but this is the scent family that i'm obsessed with at the moment and this is just what i crave to wear and this is what i wear you guys i do not choose fragrances based on oh i haven't worn that fragrance in a while let me wear it a little bit or oh now it's spring or summer and i should wear this that and the third i choose fragrances based on my feelings based on what i feel how i would like to feel what i what energy i would like to have and things like this so this next fragrance i know for sure i didn't get a chance to talk about it on youtube yet this is called hypnotic passion this is from nasim perfumes and this is a water-based fragrance and again uh the team from dubai collection asked me if i would like to test some water-based fragrances and i actually received certain questions about the water-based fragrances on their website and i was like yes of course so i again they gave me a budget and I got to choose the fragrances that I would like to test from Nassim. I chose this fragrance because this is an inspiration of a Burberry, either Burberry Elixir or Burberry Her Intense. I'm not really sure which one of the two it is, either one of the two. And I also chose a few other fragrances. Now look, the thing is I've already filmed a video on water-based fragrances, but I filmed it before Christmas. I didn't get a chance to edit it in time to post it before Christmas so I was like you know what let me just not even post that video at all and I will refilm the video so yes I will refilm the video where I will be trying out water-based fragrances but what I can tell you about this fragrance first of all it says to shake it well before you apply it because it has a very different consistency to your usual regular eau de parfum or even eau de toilette or let's just say alcohol-based fragrances in general. Now something that I've noticed if um, with certain alcohol-based fragrances the first spray you do um, even though surprisingly not for all but for some you do need to give them a chance to settle a little bit so the alcohol blast disappears here you do not have an alcohol blast of course because you do not have alcohol this is made with water um, and certain fixatives but the fixatives that they used here they do have a slight scent to them smells to me smells like milk like 
the allergy like milk, not condensed sweet milk. It just smells like milk a little bit. Um, and certain water-based fragrances actually have a very whitish cast. I will try to show you. I hope you can see. Do you see those slight white dots? Now, do not worry because this doesn't stay or this doesn't stay in your clothes. As the fragrance, again, as the fragrance gets a chance to settle on your skin, that uh, those like slight white bubbles, not even bubbles, droplets, they will fade away completely. This to me, you know how it smells like. Imagine the DNA of Burberry hair, for sure. So it's the same strawberry, fake artificial strawberry with oak moss and a little bit of vanilla. But here to me, surprisingly, in the opening, they have added a very beautiful, almost like tart uh, and slightly sweet and sour red fruity accord. You know, the kind of accord that makes your mouth go like, you know, like a pucker. It makes your mouth pucker, that type of accord, but made from red fruits. This is how it smells like to me. So I feel like it's a tad fresher, it's a tad crisper and it's a tad brighter than the usual DNA of Burberry hair. But it feels very sweet and very creamy and it just smells like red fruits, like uh, cranberry, raspberry, those kind of red fruits mixed with strawberry. Stra the strawberry here, surprisingly, it's not extremely sweet like the strawberry in red velvet is, I feel like it's a tad less sweet because you have that crisp red fruity accord that cuts a little bit from the sweetness and it gives it this crispness in a sense and this slight tart feeling to the fragrance, but it's in a very, but it's done in a very pleasant way, nothing overly crisp tart or something like this. And with the same oak mossy, slight ambery, vanillic base. This is how it smells like to me. Yeah, I love this fragrance, but surprisingly, I'm not really sure if it's the fixative they used here, but to me, it's, you have a slight lactonic like facet in the background, but it doesn't smell like sweet milk. It smells a little bit, almost a tad sour, but I'm not really sure if it's the sourness because of the red fruity accord here, or it's, if it's because of the fixative they used here, but... Look, I'm tempted to say it's because of the red fruity accord because I didn't get this aspect with the other fragrances that I've tried. Yeah, this is how it smells like. Now look, you guys, to me, longevity on this fragrance, surprisingly, it's not bad. Uh, but how I look at water-based fragrances in general, I look at them as like a more concentrated eau de toilette or like a more concentrated body spray. Um, I like body sprays. I, I can't say that I love them because I don't have a lot of them in my collection. But what I do not like about them is the fact that they dry out your skin very, very fast. And especially if you have a more sensitive skin, it, and especially if you epilate, like it burns your skin sometimes, you know? Now, this aspect, I haven't noticed it with water-based fragrances. To me, it's a more, I want to say it's a safer option for people who have sensitive skin or if you have skin rashes or if your skin gets very irritated very fast, perhaps you have certain eczema issues, perhaps you can get contact dermatitis for, from certain fragrances, then I would encourage you to look into the concept of water-based fragrances. The only thing that I want to say, do not expect water-based fragrances to project like crazy. To me, even though some of them last, let's just say average, some of them last very long, surprisingly, I was not expecting that, honestly, uh, but do not expect them to project like crazy. To me, in a sense, they form a cloud of fragrance around you. And when people come closer to you, they will definitely be able to smell it on you. But don't expect like, I don't know, like you walk down the street and everyone in like a five meter radius or something like this will be able to smell the fragrance. Have realistic expectations. But something that I want to show you as well, I hope you will, you will be able to see. Here I've applied the water-based fragrance. I hope you see how shiny it looks. Here is just like my normal skin. Um, it leaves it leaves your skin feeling extremely soft. It, the same feeling that you have after you applied a body lotion. Not a very deeply nourishing, moisturizing, rich body lotion, but like a regular hydrating body lotion, you have the same feeling here on the, your hands. It's very interesting. Yeah. And you see those white droplets disappeared completely and the fragrance is just like a normal fragrance now. Now I wear this fragrance usually when I was at home or when I had to run quick errands. I used to do 20 sprays, honestly, legit 20 sprays. Uh, I do think you need to do more sprays with water-based fragrances. Um, I used to spray it in my hair, on my skin, on my clothes, especially on my clothes, because the scent lasts, of course, even better on your clothes. But I love how this fragrance smells like. Same scent family as Burberry Her, um, same scent family as Red Velvet from Maison Asrar. If you want something 
within the same scent family, like similar scent profile, but a different concept, test this fragrance. I will of course encourage you to test it first, buy a sample, buy a decant. I will do a dedicated video on the brand and on water-based fragrances in general. That should be up somewhere in the near future, let's say. So uh, these were my thoughts about this fragrance. It's the kind of grab and go fragrance, like after the shower, like when you just step outside of the house for like, I don't know, like half an hour for an hour to run a quick errand, and you want to wear something that feels feminine, but it's not too overpowering. You still want something in the same scent family as Burberry Her. This is the fragrance, I love it. But keep in mind, I treat it like, uh, like a more concentrated body spray or like a more concentrated and safer for your skin eau de toilette, okay? Don't expect this fragrance to be like crazy performing or something like this, cause it's not. So let's continue with the last four fragrances. Uh, I have two fragrances that I've mentioned in lots of my videos. Since I've discovered this scent DNA, this scent profile, I have to say I have been obsessed and I'm still obsessed and I feel like I will forever be obsessed because it, it filled um, a spot in my collection that I didn't even know existed prior. But now I cannot picture my fragrance collection without something like this, you know? And the uh, next fragrance I want to show you, it's called Mula Mula from Byron. Now, honestly, I have to check to see. I used to have a discount code available for Byron, but I think they have changed their marketing strategy. I'm not really sure. I read in an email something. Yeah, I'm not really sure if I still have an active code for Byron, but you guys, if you want, if you have a bigger budget and you would like to try something made with strawberry and you want to try something that smells you want to try something that smells like again a delicious fake artificial strawberry with caramel and almost with this hard sugar like sweetness and translucency to it and with a slight dry woods base in the background this is the fragrance i love 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 how it smells i cannot get enough of this fragrance it's Again, I've mentioned after I will finish either one of these fragrances, I will repurchase one for sure, if not both, because I am obsessed with this fragrance, with this fragrance, with this scent family. Ah, uh, this is so extroverted and naughty and playful and feminine and, and happy and I love this fragrance. I love it. I love it. Amazing option for spring and summer if you want something a little bit more naughty, uh, but very beautiful and very feminine. Um, but with something added to it, you know, try out this fragrance or try the inspiration of it from um, Twins Paris. I wanted to say from Mojo, from Twins Paris. I don't think you will be disappointed if you have a taste for strawberry, for a caramelized strawberry in a sense. But think not caramelized in a sense of richness, caramelized, it, it's almost like you have strawberries coated in uh, melted sugar and then you put them on the side to rest and the sugar hardened and you bite from it and you smell the strawberry with that hard sugar, with a little bit of caramel and with that dry woodsy base in the background and something slightly airy. Yeah, perfect, perfect fragrance if you have a taste for this kind of fragrances. I cannot get enough of it. Yeah. And the next fragrance is its Bigger Cousin. Uh, again, I was lucky enough to receive the Mula Mula from the brand and I was also lucky enough to receive Zenobia from Tomavici. But you guys, this fragrance... Now look, I have such a soft spot in my heart for this fragrance because when I went to Milan, this is the fragrance that I wore there most of the times. And now I associate this fragrance with Milan and with all the beautiful memories that I have there with my partner and everything. Ah, uh, yes, and I love this fragrance. I'm obsessed with these fragrances. Like I cannot tell you enough good words about them. Look, keep in mind, this is just my experience with the fragrances. Always test fragrances if you have a chance. Maybe you've tried fragrances like this prior and they, they didn't move you in any way. They moved me in such a big way, like, as you can see, all the fragrances that I showed you today are somewhat similar. Caramelized fruity accord, caramelized strawberry, strawberry, strawberry with oak moss, something like this. Now, this to me smells like lemon dipped in sugar with a very creamy, thick, buttery vanilla and with caramel and a slight suede accord in the background. Again, I have a soft spot for these fragrances. Look, this is the fragrance that I wear when I know I will be going out for a longer period of time. Usually when I'm going out, like to a, not club, because honestly I haven't been clubbing in what feels like ages, to like a pub, to like a restaurant, to a cafe, you know, but usually when I'm going out with my friends for a longer period of time and I want a fragrance that smells very feminine, very playful, very a little bit flirty, a little bit sensual, but very extroverted and it's the kind of fragrance that 
it projects, it leaves a sillage, it smells intoxicating. I opt for this fragrance, for Zenobia. Especially if I'm going out during nighttime. If I'm going out during nighttime, I'm reaching for this fragrance because it's slightly heavier, denser, and thicker. Uh, if I'm going out during the daytime, I reach for this fragrance, but I wear this fragrance at nighttime as well. Yeah, I'm obsessed with these two fragrances. I don't want to spend too much time talking about these ones because I know I talk about them all the time, you guys. So let's just move to the next fragrances. Now, this fragrance, for a while, I didn't wear it but i woke up one day and i was craving this fragrance and all it needed was few sprays and now i'm hooked on it again you guys this is arabian stonka from montal this this smells like me i don't know how to describe but this when i smell this fragrance it just smells like me it feels like an extension of me by now honestly again i wore this one on its own i wore it layered with mula mula i wore it layered with red velvet i wore it layered with yara it's such a versatile fragrance to have in your collection but look this is not the kind of fragrance that smells so natural that it smells like flowers in your garden or like uh, something like this no it's quite the contrary it smells fake it smells artificial it smells synthetic uh, but to me this is what it gives it this I don't even know how to describe it, but to me, this is what it makes it stand out. And I'm guessing this is what made me hook on this fragrance. This smells legit like sugary overload, like lots and lots and lots of sugar. You also have this slight dry green earthy like facet with a rich woody accord in the background. That's the oud accord and with saffron. I don't think you can go wrong with fragrances like this. It smells amazing in the heat. Now, bear in mind, I have to be very honest, in the heat, I didn't overspray it. Like, let's just say I've learned my lesson. Um, I did like five sprays, perhaps six, but I didn't do more than that because I didn't want to suffocate people around me because this is a very polarizing fragrance. This is a your typical like love or hate kind of fragrance. Either you love it, either you hate it, either you are obsessed with its DNA, either you don't really stand it at all. I don't feel like it's the kind of fragrance that leaves people like, meh. No, either you're like, oh my God, it smells amazing or like, I don't want to smell it. You know, that's the kind of fragrance. And last fragrance for today's video is a fragrance that again, I bought it a few months ago, I feel like. I have filmed, I, let me just wipe it a little bit, honestly, because this is the kind of bottle that shows every damn fingerprint on it. Now, this is from Afnan. This is from their Edict line, and this is Amber Rhythm. To me, it smells like a fusion of Hamra with instant crush. It's almost like you were to smell them in the air. You would get whiffs of both of these fragrances. It smells very molecular, very airy, very bright, androgynous in a sense, very modern, I have to say, and quite minimalistic to me. It's chic. It's sophisticated, it's a statement fragrance. It's the kind of fragrance that you could wear layered with so many other fragrances to lift the DNA. This works layered, of course, with Hamra. This works layered with Amber or Tobacco, with any sweet, spicy, honeyed forward fragrances, any tobacco forward fragrances, any inspirations of Angel Share that you have. This is the kind of fragrance to me, you guys. It feels sophisticated and chic. This is a vibe it gives me. And it doesn't feel like your typical dainty feminine fragrance or doesn't feel like your naughty, extroverted kind of fragrance and again if you have a taste for hamra if you have a taste for instant crush and you wanted to try something like this test this fragrance beautiful presentation it has amazing scent performances out of this world you guys it projects it's it's the kind of fragrance that if you will be in closed spaces just like with arabian stonka less is definitely more um with Arabian Stonk, it might be like intuitive because it's such a robust and heavy fragrance. But with this fragrance, because it feels so airy and transparent and translucent and molecular, you might be tempted to do one too many sprays. Don't. So these were the fragrances that I wanted to show you in today's video. These are the fragrances that I have worn the most in the month of April and not only in the month of April, even previous months. These are fragrances that some of them I've mentioned them here on my channel for a while because I'm obsessed with them. I'm obsessed with them and once I discover a scent DNA that I love, I tend to reach it after... I tend to reach it. I tend to wear it again and again and again and again and again until until I find something else in a, or until I re... I fall back in love, let's just say, with other fragrances. So as yes, you guys, thank you so much for watching. If you've tried any of the fragrances that I showed you in today's video, what do you think about the fragrances? Especially if you've tried Teriyak, let me know your thoughts on the fragrance. Watch that review. If it's posted, watch my review of Teriyak. Uh, let me know what you think about these fragrances.
Let me know what are your fragrances that you've worn the most lately. And yes, don't forget you can follow me on Instagram. Um, if you want to tell me something, as always, please put it in the comment section and I promise that I will get back to you. But yes, you guys, oh, I'm sending you lots of love, lots of hugs, lots of good energy. I will see you in my next video, but until then, thank you so much for watching and I want to wish you an amazing day wherever you are. Bye, guys.